to anyone willing or able to read this. This is for you. We are the serpent's hand. We are a movement, unified by a common belief, that humanity and all the other people of the known worlds do not deserve to be kept in darkness and in ignorance. The serpent's hand doesn't coordinate as a group. We are a loose collection of splinters. Our enemies tend to misunderstand this. For instance, the Foundation's obsession with L.S., a person most of us have never met. Or the Serpent's Nest with their shifting identities. Yes, they are all leaders because they are people we respect, people we take advice from, and some of us will follow their plans. But they aren't all of us. And there's no special way to join the Hand. There are no secret rituals done in basements or closets. We hold no elections for our leaders. If you want to become a member of the Serpent's Hand, all you have to do is decide you are a member of the Serpent's Hand. Most of us are ordinary people, though. Our enemies do not understand this, either. We are ordinary people who embrace the anomalous, the supernatural, the ethereal. We oppose its suppression. Now, how can we not? Our friends, family members, and sometimes we ourselves fall outside the bounds of normalcy. Every single one of us has experienced something anomalous. We are the things in heaven and earth that were not dreamt of in your philosophies. To the heralds of traditional power, such as the SCP Foundation, the Global Occult Coalition, and most world governments, the anomalous is a slowly spreading poison, threatening to destroy everything civilization has worked so hard to create. But anomalous people people. The anomalous itself is not a threat merely for existing. Yes, it presents danger, but so do germs and meteors and forest fires. Suppressing knowledge of something will only make it more dangerous and keep all of us huddling, frightened, and in the dark. And when normalcy starts hurting the people who have to live under it in order to cure a poison, normalcy is itself the poison. The SCP Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition are playing the role now that the Catholic Church played when they imprisoned Galileo for discovering that the world revolved around the sun. Their practices and beliefs are the death of knowledge, the death of science, and the death of light. Take the Wanderer's Library as an example. The place where the Serpent's Hand makes its home. The library is the largest repository of knowledge the worlds have ever seen. The Holy Grail for those seeking to understand the preternatural. And yet, both the SCP Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition have been thrown out of this place that welcomes all. Why? Because they tried to destroy it, or take it for themselves so no one else could have it. And because of this, they are condemned to blunder in the dark. Everyone reasonable agrees that people should defend themselves against supernatural threats. But how can you protect yourselves if you burn and bury the books and imprison or execute the people who could tell you how? Would you try to protect yourselves against nuclear weapons by telling everyone to pretend that they don't exist? And the Serpent's Hand were barred from the library too, once. There was a reason we could not rediscover it until 1967, but no more. We learned from our mistakes. To any members of the GOC and the Foundation who may read this, we are growing so large because of you. We were more like you once. Just one more inbred secret society, hoarding occult knowledge to ourselves. And then the Foundation began increasing its scale. There have always been jailers, but not like this, not in millennia. Yet still, they kept themselves in the dark, with only their leaders ever knowing the full extent of the world on Earth outside of the everyday, so they were tolerable for a time. But then came the Seventh Occult War, the Foundation Civil War, the rise of the Global Occult Coalition, the Book Burners, the Big Brother and the grand-scale campaign against the paranatural community that followed. The coalition became the oppressive shelter to which the cowards of the paranatural community fled, 
A shame that there were only 108 slots, and only for human-dominated organizations. Or perhaps not a shame at all, our old selves did not seek membership then, and we are fortunate for that. So the serpent's hand rose up, not out of fear or desire, but out of a clear and pressing need to keep all peoples from being chained forever in the dark. We, the serpent's hand, ask both of you this. How many KTEs does the Global Cult Coalition catalog? It must seem like the supernatural is a vast hydra, two new heads sprouting for each one that is cut off. How long will you keep cutting, and how many SCP items does the Foundation contain now? 2,000? 3,000? 5? More? How long before there is no more room for prisons to be constructed? Will you put the whole world in a box? You admit it to yourself privately. The anomalous is on the rise. You cannot hold back the future forever. You are the monsters you are so afraid of. Let go of your fear and join us in the light. And if you will not, if you keep imprisoning and killing innocents, if you keep forcing the world to stay in the dark, then you will meet the fate of all the slavers and all the murderers in all the world's histories before you. We will free those you keep imprisoned. We will rescue those you try to kill. The garden is the serpent's place, and we are the serpent's hand.